Welcome back everybody, hit that like, hit that subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think about this video. Today's gonna be a little bit easier of a couple of things. We're just gonna update you on basically what's going on in the Dolphins uh, camp right now. So right now, I think most people have heard that we are out, or basically out of the Dalvin Cook sweepstakes. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why. I, I kinda never really thought that we were gonna go for someone like that. The problem is, is that when you have a running back and the running back is up there in age, has injury problems, and on top of that, the contract is not necessarily easy on the team that is trying to get that person. Of course, we're probably not gonna have to trade a whole bunch for Dalvin Cook. It's just, you have to consider that the way that we are going in this Dolphins franchise is we are building through the draft. We are getting free agents that can really help the team and solidify the whole entire side. So like the reason we got Jalen Ramsey is because Jalen Ramsey can play the whole entire defensive field. You have to consider that when you have a person like Jalen Ramsey, Xavier Howard is a cornerback. Safety is not really his forte. He can't really play too much slot you know he's best as an outside corner with Jalen Ramsey it's someone that you can move all around the field and you can put him at safety you can put him in nickel you can put him in the outside guarding the x or the y you can put him even at linebacker I mean you can do so many things with that guy so that is the reason why we get someone like Jalen Ramsey on the other side last year Tyree Kill, you can do so many things with Tyree Kill. You can run with him. You can put him on deep routes. You can put him on slants. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can put him in the slot. You can put him outside. You can do all sorts of things. Same thing with Jalen Waddle, even though we didn't trade for him. You know, we got him in the draft. You can do so many things that they solidify the entirety of the offense. And I know Dalvin Cook would have been a great addition. It's just you have the injury history, which... Again, you know, you, you pay a lot of money for these guys. If you, I think as a Dolphins fan, we can kind of base our, our judgment upon the last like 10 years, we've always gotten those injury prone players and they end up costing us a lot and they end up getting injured and not really playing to their full potential. You know, Dalvin Cook has a shoulder injury. He's had it for the last year. I mean, he's had injuries for a couple years now, you know, and the thing is, is when you have a player like that and you're trying to pay him $11 million, when you have to sign Christian Wilkins still, you still, you know, eventually have to get Sealer back. Um, you have to see what you're going to do with Ogba. You know, you don't really know. You're still paying those players. Um, you know, eventually Javon Holland's going to come up. You know, you have to consider that when you are paying all of these players, it, you're not going to be able to sign your rookies back and you're not going to be able to sign them back for contracts that they want. It's not that you don't have money. It is that like you see with, you know, the defensive tackles right now, which we'll get into it in a little bit, they are getting paid astronomical amounts of money. And they don't necessarily need to be Aaron Donald. They just need to be a pretty decent player. And you're going to get a lot of money in this league now. So when you get a person like Dalvin Cook, which we got Devon A-Chain, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, Devon A-Chain was the guy that they wanted in this draft. That was the guy that I think that they actually really did see fitting this system very well. I know I loved Kendra Miller. I know there was a bunch of other running backs, but for the most part, Devon A-Chain kind of brought the speed, the quickness, the hands that they needed in the backfield. You know, with, with Dalvin Cook, it's basically an $8 million, not even, he's, he drafted in the third round, it's going to be basically a $9 million difference in player. And we are a passing heavy team. So you're going to have Raheem Mostert, which you wouldn't sign back four running backs if you weren't going to use them and just get Dalvin Cook. It wouldn't make any sense. And I think the whole game plan is everybody, again, wants these big name players and they don't necessarily realize what comes with the back end of it where, you know, you get a player that's been injury prone and say you pay him all this money and he gets injured again. You know, it's like, well, you, you could have just did what we did right now, which you draft a rookie, have a multitude of players, and then you're you're set. You know, you, you don't necessarily need to have a, a stud running back because you believe in your quarterback and you believe that the passing game is going to take you where you need to go. 
you're more so having a running game that can just supplement you and the passing game takes over. You have so many weapons on offense now. You have so many passing weapons and you know, I know people are going to be still iffy on the offensive line, but I think the plan is is that they are good with Austin Jackson and they are trying to mold him into a pretty decent player. That's what they wanted to. And it looks like what they believe in. And I know most people are going to sit there and argue with me in the comments, but he's a first round draft pick. He has a lot of potential. And if you just kind of tweak his untapped potential, he could be a starter. And that's what they're trying to do with Austin Jackson. You can't have a fully great offensive line, but you have Teron Armstead, you have uh, Connor Williams, you have Robert Hunt. If Austin Jackson can come in and, and be a starter, then you just really have one hole on this offensive line, which what I do think is going to happen is you're going to go through training camp, you're going to go through mini camp, you're going to go through OTAs, and you're going to see where he is. You're going to see where both of those players are. You're going to see if they are serviceable. And if they aren't, well, then you're kind of going all in. So you'll trade, you know, a second or a third rounder, or you'll trade one of your players and, you know, whatever it may be. And you get one of these other guys that can step in and, and do something. But I think they're going to wait until more towards the end of OTAs and minicamp before they start making decisions on who they need to bring in. I think that's going to be more of a preseason thing where they will they then, if they don't see something that they want, they're either going to bring in depth or they're going to bring in another guy that can, that can do what they need him to do. But right now, I think what they're doing is they're going to go through the offseason, see if Austin Jackson has what it takes, which... I think they saw last year he has some potential and that this year they're trying to really tap that potential in and, and make him into a, a serviceable starter so that the offensive line is good and that is why they invested all the draft picks. But like I said, we're out of the Dalvin Cook sweet stakes because you just you can't you can't pay all these players if, if you're getting some of these older guys. And again, when you have the injury prone guys which we've done for a while, it's just not gonna lead up to very much good. It might be one or two years and that's not what they're trying to do. You need to wrap your head around that they're trying to build something that can be a, 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 a competing team for a while. Now, on to other news is that another defensive tackle has gotten signed. And this is something that I'm kind of worrying about because I love Christian Wilkins. I mean, I think he was the start of this whole entire organization going the way that it's going right now. And... I'm getting kind of nervous because I think they want to sign him back, but I think the more that these defensive tackles are getting $90 million contracts with $60 million guaranteed, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get nervous that it might price us out of what Christian Wilkins is going to have because, again, we have Zach Sealer. I wholeheartedly believe that we are going to sign Christian Wilkins back. I don't think that that's going to be a problem. I think that it's just a matter of getting the money right and you know the, the the issue is is that we do need to sign him soon because the more that we wait it's going to keep going up in price and it's going to be tough so we'll see where we're going with this um i just i think he is worth about 70 million right now i think about 50 million guaranteed would be the contract and i i do think that honestly either what we're going to do is we're going to sign him this year uh or which is going to cost way more because I know that Christian Wilkins is going to do great this coming year, especially with the new coaching staff and everything like that. I think Christian Wilkins is going to be a real stud, you know, wait and then franchise tag him the next year and then have to pay him a lot, which could be a viable option if you do that because we're going into his fifth year contract um, or his fifth year option. And, you know, what you could do is that you get that, you franchise tag him for the next year and then you try and pay him two years from now. But like I said, you know, and wholeheartedly at that point, it might be, you know, he might be doing things that an all star, an all pro is doing. And then you might need to pay him one hundred million dollars uh, to keep him. So that is still an option. You know, we don't necessarily need to pay him this off season. It could just be one of those things where you do it, you franchise tag him and then you, you, you wait till, you know, some of your younger players are, are there and you can sign some of those guys and. Could be one of those things, but I really do think that maybe you lock him up for the next five years, get a $70 million one, and then you don't have to pay him, you know, the big Aaron Donald money because it seems like the contracts are just going up and up with the defensive tackles. I really hope that they sign Christian Wilkins. I really hope that they do just because he has just been the heart and soul of our defense for a while, even when it was crap or when it was good or whatever it was, Christian Wilkins always gave 100%. Not saying that other players did it, but I think Christian Wilkins was here 
since the very beginning, like when we were trading all of our players and we were just hot garbage, he was there since the very, very beginning. So it's just one of those pieces that I think you, you kind of have to keep with you. I don't, uh, it's just, I know there's a business to it, but you just, you have to keep Christian Wilkins, man. I mean, I just think he's just a, he's just a great player, a great person, and just something you would want your team to be embodied by. And I think they're going to get it done. I just, I'm getting a little nervous just based upon the, the contracts that are coming out for some of these defensive ends and defensive tackles. I'm like, geez, it's, it's getting up there. So I think they will do it soon, maybe during training camp or whatever it may be. They might move some money around, but I think we'll get him signed. It's just, you know, I, I want him to get him signed. I want him here for a while. Christian Wilkins is probably the, one of the best pieces on this defense. Like I said, quick update video. Just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. You know, right now the F1 race is going on, so they're all over there. And then, you know, we're going to get into, you know, whatever's going to go on this next couple of weeks. But we got about three months left till football starts. We're, we're almost there, guys. So, you know, keep your hats on. Keep your seats nailed down to the ground because it's going to get crazy this year but as always hope you have a great rest of your day fins up peace